So we asked a question in the previous lecture. The question is, how is this happening? How is the search happening on the small world network? Right? It, it's very intriguing, you see. I mean, uh, how, how, can, how can someone just pass on a piece of information to someone else and in six hops you can reach the destination anywhere in the world? The reason actually is pretty simple. In fact, we gave a intuition of it in one of the previous lectures. We are going to go in detail uh, with it right now. As you know, in the, um, in the real world network, you know, you know how, it's, how it happens, how a real world network is created. We saw the watt strogatz model, right? There are several nodes and several links. How do links form? Assume this is you. How will you make friends? You will basically be friends with your immediate neighbors, your classmate, your schoolmate, um, maybe your um, your gym uh, partner, your um, the, the person whom you know in your um, um, uh, painting club, or maybe in your biking club, and so on and so forth. You know the local people really well. But then, as you know, there are some people who might know someone outside their locality, right? So, whenever you are asked to send a piece of information, let's say to some other part of the globe, all you will do is you will choose one of those friends of yours who probably, probably is closer to this destination, who is, who is possibly closer to this destination. And that person in turn chooses another person, another person and this person might see, you see, you see how and why, how and why probably he was chosen. Why, why, why did this fellow choose this fellow? Probably because this, this fellow here, this guy might actually know this guy or someone in this particular uh, region. That's why this fellow chose this fellow, while he actually knew maybe several people, he purposefully chose him of all people to send, right? He knew several people, but, right? He, he knew several people, but he chose to send it to only this person. That is because he suspects this person might really know someone from this region. Do you think this happens if you want to send um, a piece of parcel to someone in Afghanistan or let's say someone in Dubai or someone in some Arab country, you probably will know um, a friend of yours in your college who is from one of these countries, right? And you may want to send it to this friend and ask him to send it to someone in uh, let's say Dubai, which will help the packet reach the destination, which is probably in one of those um, uh, Arab Arabian countries. Right? So, that's the whole idea behind um, this uh, local algorithm where a, a, a person starts from here and then intelligently tries to reduce the distance from the destination. We all have a sense of what is the destination, how close we are getting and we try to achieve it this way. Okay. So, now, how do we simulate and see this? We first take a watt strogatz model. Now, before anything, let's go back to the previous uh, slide and then see. So, this kind of edges are actually common in the watt strogatz generative model that I told you, which depicts the real world networks. You see, uh, basically, we make friends with our localities, in, in our localities, people who are around us, but then uh, one, uh, a couple of links will actually be to um, outside places. For example, this fellow, although is 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 friends from, uh, is friends with people who are close to him, right next to him, he might also have a couple of friends outside. This fellow might have a couple of friends outside. This person might have some one person outside, two friends outside, someone outside. This always happens. You see. So, let's say if we have, if we have uh, a, a person here with some um, links inside. Okay, a lot of links will obviously be in his locality itself, but a few links will actually be outside. Isn't that true? We know a lot of people in our country, but we also do know, let's say, one or two percent of our friends will be 
outside our country they form as you all know what is called the weak ties they form the weak ties and how would we simulate this algorithm on such a network let let me let me uh, revise what has happened so far all i have stated is there as there is homophily because of which we are uh, friends with uh, um people who are right next to us there is also the weak ties that we have because it's only intuitive that one or two percent of us will always have some friends outside the country outside our um, uh, uh, geographical location correct and that's what makes passing of this packet becomes very easy how do we simulate and see this just to be um just to complete i will i will write this as these are this constitutes homophily okay how do we program this and see it what we should initially do is i will give this as an exercise problem for you all you should be able to do it in case you are unable to do it please let us know we will help you out so first thing is we need to generate a network a network with small world property we know how to generate that this is called the watts strogatz a uh, model where if you remember you take nodes right you take nodes and you put edges to your immediate neighbors who are geographically closer to you correct so this goes on like this geographically closer to you this this happens for um every single node here um so on and so on and um so on of course this are all connected like this so on and you do what is called some random rewiring isn't it you do what is called the random rewiring so what you do is everybody is friends with their uh, um locality people only their immediate neighbors but uh, a few people random rewiring means you take some 1% uh, of the friendships and um, um uh, shift them randomly you re sort of relocate them randomly right we have discussed this before so if there was a, a node from let's say here to here you basically remove it and then put put it somewhere from here to here that way this this becomes what is called let's say a teleportation um, channel a person who is here might only know people in his local neighborhood but then by this random rewiring what you do is you connect him to a person who is otherwise geographically far away from him and that's what the watt strogatz model um, um, tells you for you to get a uh, get the small world property such a random rewiring should happen what, what do you mean by what do you mean by random rewiring should happen who makes it happen the point here is this is how the real world network functions so you might ask me who does random rewiring nobody does random rewiring it this is how it uh, you know things are i told you um the fact that you have a couple of people right outside your geographical location while most of your friends are within your geographical location you might have a couple of friends outside your country outside your continent right and uh, that is the that is the equivalent of um, the random rewiring here right when such a thing happens we can actually try implementing our own such algorithm so what we do is the following we first you are asked to go from a source node s let's say a source node s and a target node t and a target node t okay and then what you do is right the second point you should go from s to t s to you have to go to um t and what you do is you go to t i mean this this direction this direction this direction so what you do is you pass on you you find that you find all nodes of s you see s is of course adjacent to many nodes but you are on the lookout for that node 
that node which might be closer to t as i have stated before as i have stated before there is always this couple of people who are connected outside couple of your friends who are outside your uh, geographical location so you might you might find you may not find but certainly amongst these uh, friends of s that you have some one of them would probably be close to t right someone would possibly be close to t and we'll we'll um, pick that person who is close to t to t and pass on the letter to him as simple as that we pass on the letter to this very person right and uh, as you know this sort of continues and goes on now let us think about this algorithm for a minute what if what if this s is u okay you are this s and t is in australia but you have friends see as assume you are in india and you need to send uh, something to australia how does such algorithm work let me try to confuse you people with a question here what if s has all his friends in india with a couple of friends outside okay and that friend who is outside is let's say um, one from um, uh, indonesia and one from uh, united states of america right if you were to pass any of these if you were to pass the letter to any of the people within india you are not sure it will go to australia correct but at the same time if you try passing it to indonesia or um, united states you will be you will go further away from it right it's like going further away from t if you were to pass it to some someone else right so this random rewiring may not this random rewiring may not necessarily guarantee you teleportation points as i was telling you to nodes of your choice so that you can send the letter easily correct these weak ties may not really connect you to the desired destination they may not take you close right they may not take you close so um how how, how does the search still work right it still works right uh, we then in that in that case you know we we just pass on the information uh, to anyone here who is anyone here who is close to t he could be a fellow from india itself or if the closest is actually someone from indonesia to t we of course do pass it to that person right but the question here is maybe it would get complicated all the more complicated and you may not reach the destination at all you might go away and away from the destination well the fact is this never happens and the reason follows so what we will do is let us take a grid okay let's take a Four cross four grid like this, all right, and then complete the grid. So every node has so many friends, and as you can see, as you can see, a person has four neighbors, and assume there are people on all the sides. It's a huge grid. It's a huge grid, and um, this represents that. you are friends with um you are friends with these four people 1 2 3 not 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 the one i'm sorry yeah yeah you you are friends with these four people but then you are also friends with a couple of people away from you something like that right so assume every person let me write that down every person Person makes friends, makes uh, friends. I'm writing it slowly because it's very important. This better uh, sink into our minds. Every person makes friends with his or her immediate neighbors. Immediate neighbors. 
right it didn't necessarily be the uh, four uh, neighbors which are these he might make friends with the uh, nearest neighbors who are let's say two distance away from him so he might be friends with him two distance away two distance away two distance away etc in his vicinity he makes friends a couple of links is always way outside his uh, vicinity which is far away okay let us assume this is the friendship network in two dimension okay and i will even write a code let's say to define what exactly are these um green lines here what exactly are these green lines they are uh, links to far away nodes let us come out with the way in which we define these far away nodes okay let us come out with a way in which we define these far away nodes so how we define it what i do is i pick a node far away from this node and then i put an edge with probability let's see let's say 1 over distance between this is u and this is v distance between u comma v to the power of k 